obvious question like how many hours to study every day for neat as well as for boards is there like a particular number of hours you would so, suggest yeah we'll start with jacob we'll ask from everyone this question yeah. you know uh, so you can hear from them expanding different time for boards and neat like uh, for, as he said biophysics and chemistry it's the same topic so it went hand in hand uh, maths and english i used to focus it just before the exam for english and uh, maths as soon as sir teaches a chapter solving questions that would be fine you don't have to spend a lot of time doing things as soon as it finishes in class that would be more than enough uh, and uh, the hours you spend every day for neat it doesn't matter how long you study it matters how productively you study like i can say that if i spend 6 hours in a day studying only 4 hours or 4 and a half hours would be productive that's true uh, i can't deny that because the other time you will be thinking about something else something else in school some other topic if i'm studying physics suddenly something in bio will come to my mind and so i won't have the attention for the whole 6 hours so how long you feel you have been studying productively is what matters so if you are able to study with full concentration for 2 hours that's more than enough but you have to study every day for a given fixed time so i think that would be enough right uh, others like you know how many hours if i say in terms of studying did you study it is variable uh, depends upon my mood but uh, generally it is 4 to 5 hours a day and i gave uh, more preference on biology because 50% of need is biology 360 and physics chemistry is all problems uh, but for max as soon as sir finishes the concept i solve the problem since yeah the book back problems and the guide uh, rs agarwal or rd sharma english just before the exam only you said 4 to 5 hours a day i would like to clarify it's after school hours right Uh, can you also tell about uh, holidays sundays 6 to 7 hours okay um after school hours uh, i'll study for 3 uh, uh, to 4 hours only need preparation i won't focus on max and english uh, physics chemistry biology simon tells you i read for need and uh, board exams uh, during week weekends alone uh, morning for some 3 hours i will do max english only during the exam time see uh, sir i would, i would le- just like to intervene here to all the students who are sitting here please remember these words even though some no they are trying to convey to you guys at least 4 to 5 hours so some ptm and all when i am uh, when i am in the ptm i hear students sir sunday sir i studied for 1 hour sir great difficulty 1 hour i concentrated sir 1 hour i gave sir so all those students please listen 4 to 5 hours this is what all these toppers are implying so if you feel 1 hour is too much then you can just listen to them so that is how how much they have put so much of effort on a daily basis to reach this excellence so this is very important guys this question is very important and so i request aitya sai and sushrut also to give their inputs uh, so number of so on weekdays i would study at least half an hour because i used to have daily homeworks for max at school so at least half an hour for max and physics chemistry biology at least uh, at three and a half to four hours and on weekends especially sundays at least seven to eight hours at least i would say that number of hours you put in is directly proportional to the motivation you have on that day so if you are very motivated you know you will go on for a lot of time if you are not motivated uh, i would suggest you to pick up maths or english because you know uh, that's the only other thing which you can do uh, besides that uh, since i was in the evening batch i had classes on saturdays and sundays and it was very difficult to study at that time because morning i'll have school on saturdays and evening i'll have to come to fitji so for people uh, who are there in this situation i would just suggest you one thing pay as much attention as possible in the class keep less for when you come home so that uh, you know if you come home at 8:30 at night on on a saturday if you have uh, you know evening classes i would not uh, you know suggest you to go on till 12 o'clock or 2 o'clock i would suggest you have good dinner and have you know a great sleep have 7 to 8 hours of sleep study on a proper day when you have a lot of time because uh, if you try to study during a time constrained you know uh, period 
it will be very difficult for you nothing will go into your brain even you can just stare at the book for hours together and nothing will enter your brain so uh, i would say before studying make sure that you are you know uh, free make sure that your mind is calm and make sure that you don't have any other work that is nagging you so number of hours it is very very variable because on one day you could go on for like 4 or 5 hours and the other day it's very difficult to go in for go on for even 4 or 5 minutes because you know have you have so many other things to do so i would say you know have, have less for when you come back home do maximum work in uh, the school or in your fiji class and as per maths or english i would you know suggest you uh, to do the same thing listen to your english and maths teachers because you know they are very experienced they would tell you uh, most of the things in the class itself for maths especially i would uh, suggest you to practice at home like you know not too rigorously because uh, boards are not the main concern for a lot of people even though they are very important so please go on with it as a uh, half an hour or something as you should told but for english definitely you know even half an hour a day might seem too much for a student so i would just say maximum you can uh, listen in school and you know 5% or 10% you can do it before the exam that's it so saravanan karthik your inputs my dear uh, for board exam uh, i'll like to say about english and maths uh, english you can study mainly in the school itself like uh, you want to do much in home like uh, you have to just understand the sequence of the story poem that's it for max you have to just uh, stick with ncert see the solved examples mainly and uh, practice and ask any doubts with the teachers and uh, and the pre board exams this will be happening so you have to just look into that and uh, practice more and more